So this right here is really high quality plant fungal dominant compost. And that's what I use to make my tea. It helps the plants absorb food and create like a really healthy soil food web ecosystem in your yard. There's a whole galaxy inside of it. <laughs> My name is Shelby and I am the founder of Adaptive Solutions and I'm welcoming you to my brew shop where I make all the compost tea and I'm gonna go spray all the plants and soil around Boulder County. The first step of this is filling the tea bag about three quarters of the way full with my high quality compost. Uh, this part that I have is called the microbe liberation chamber. This dome right here, this is gonna have air going through it and create like a suction with the bubbles and it will help the microbes be liberated from the compost particles in a more efficient way. Put the tea bag in the brewer, turn the switch to make the air go through and then I start adding the microbial foods. So this is what really gets the tea active and brewing and multiplying. The first one is a seaweed cream, so it's a soluble form of kelp from the oceans. And it also is a fungal and bacterial food, meaning the microbes can eat these foods during the brewing process and then multiply. Then the other one I put in is called humic acid, really basic form of carbon, and that's what microbes in the soil eat is carbon. But it's also a soil conditioner to the soil. It can transform soil texture. And then the last thing is a mycorrhizal soluble powder, which is a beneficial fungi. Fungi are an important vital role in the soil food web, and they will really help your plants be more resilient from pests, disease, make their roots be able to extend longer. And then that's it, just uh, let it brew. This one where I'm doing the extract, so it's four to six hours, and then if you're doing active compost tea, it'll be 24 hours. We just pulled up to one of my residential clients, Landscapes and Gardens, and we're gonna go spraying with compost tea.